Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bravely Second. Let's just leave off where we left off. But first, the tenth event. So, um, yep. Let's go ahead and do that, and I'm gonna shut up for a little while. Uh, oh, well, this is no good. What's the matter, idiot? Everyone's asleep except you. I wish I was, but I can't. You shouldn't have drunk so much tea before bedtime. <sighs> Wait, we're both awake at the very same time. It has to be fate, right? Or a terrible omen. So let's play a game! You know, to help us sleep. A game? Categories, and no words ending in vowels. First category is monsters. I go first. Scorpion! Um... Nightmare. <gasps> oh, Dimash, that ends in a vowel. You win, too bad for me. Good night. Hey, wait, we were just getting started! Uh, it's late. You girls should be asleep. Oh gosh, sorry you. Did we wake you up? Oh, you were talking pretty loud. Now poor Tiz is awake too. Look what you've done. I said it was sorry. But now that we're all up, let's play another game! Quel enfant! Next up, word association. Stay on the beat, okay? Here goes. Tent. One, two. After tent comes adventure. One, two. After adventure comes dungeon. One, two. After dungeon comes dark. One, two. After dark comes night. One, two. After night comes sweet, sweet sleep. All right, sir. Nighttime means sleep. No argument from me. Bon nuit, everyone. Huh? Wait, guys, what about the game? <sighs> Okay. No crazy hidden lore in that tent event, but fair enough. Oh, I should probably just save again, just in case. Let's just do, uh, just do another quick save a here. Bang, bang. Okay. And let's go. Ah, and here we are. It just looks like more forest to me. Is there really a village around here? Why don't you watch and see? Sesame, ouvre-toi. Wow, the path just... That's amazing! <gasps> How does it work? Come on, tell me! <laughs> I'm afraid that's strictly confidential. <laughs> Too bad for you, I already memorized it. S -s 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 Uber tall! No, that's not it. Uh, say some over to wall! <laughs> Looks like your secret is safe with us. <laughs> it seems so. Shall we proceed? Indeed, let us proceed. Where's all this floating coming from? Village in the sky? Say what? Okay. That looks sick. Oh, I just wasted some money in Florum. The whole village is floating. There's probably a better stuff here. Of that cannon. What's the matter, you? You look positively green. Don't look down. Don't look down. What was that? I couldn't hear you. You got me, okay? I'm afraid of heights. <laughs> Good thing it's your only fear, huh? Okay. Yeah, I wasted a bit of money in Florum, but I still have 38k, right? That's more than enough to spend. Ooh, calm. 
All damage for one turn. Let's buy this one. Let me, I want to make sure I have enough money for everything else before I buy those couple spells. Because I'm going to want to buy those spells, but let me quickly go to the weapons shop just to see what they have here. Because if they have something better, sleep blade, amplifier. Okay, so I'm going to need to buy three of those. Basically just one of these. One of those for Adia. Um, okay. Let's see. I'm gonna have to buy two of those. Just two. Oh, and I don't have enough for the full face helm. Okay, well, let's equip with what we got, and then we'll do a little bit of selling here. So, oh, I didn't even buy that hatchet that I wanted. And then we're gonna need one more of these. I need one more of those. Let's see, we've got the full face helm. Oh, we're gonna need two full face helms. Okay, let's go ahead and start selling now. Okay, I think that should be... Oh, I need to go back in. I sold some stuff. That should be enough to buy me one full face. And then I could probably buy just this. And then I'll need two of these. I need two moss immunes. Okay, let's go ahead and buy two moss immunes here and... We are now once again out of money, but at least we have some good weaponry, so I think let's go back and take a look at all of our equipment. So a new axe with new armor, two new uh, katanas with new armor. We've got, we'll either have to go either more grinding or potentially I could get Chompshire before I buy anything else, and I can just be rich then. So, for now though, let's just go to where we're supposed to go. I have returned, Elder. And I've brought some fascinating guests. Lotus has told me your tale. I thank you for coming, Moonfarer. And your companions as well, of course. I am Sirius, Elder and Chief of the Sagitta. I must say, I never truly believed there might be people on the moon. Our people have been raised to believe that we once came from the moon, though most thought it mere legend. And our duty, to defeat Baal. The technology and weaponry to do so passed down by our ancestors. No ball appeared in my father's time, nor in his father's before him, to think it would come in mine. As soon as that fiend came within range, we unleashed the fury of our arms. But the beast survived our attack and fled. That's what brought me to Florin. I thought I could track the Baal's movements. Yes. When next we find the beast, our aim will be true. We will blow that ball and the castle that holds it clear out of the sky. Just a moment. Someone very important to us is inside that castle. What's this you say? That is unfortunate indeed, and yet it does not change what we must do. What? This is our sworn mission, passed down among my people for generations untold. Duty calls, and we cannot turn our backs on it. But, but... Uh, it's obvious. I have heard everything, my friends. Do not concern yourself with me. If you have the power to fell the beast, then let it be done. If giving my life will save our world, I gladly give it. What are you saying? That's unacceptable and you know it. We're not just going to stand by and let you sacrifice yourself. We're Anya's as Avengers, remember? That's right. We already made up our minds. We're saving you and defeating the ball. Please, Elder. Can't you give us just a little more time? 
We only need enough time to rescue Agnes. No, I fear the risk is too great. The next time the ball comes within range, we will fire. If you would save your friend in the castle, I suggest you save her. Quickly. <laughs> I am sorry, my friends. This is what we were put here to do. We can't blame you for doing your duty. But we have a duty of our own to perform. That's right! We'll storm the Skyhold and save Agnes! But now, how will we get there in time? We're going to need to find a way to get airborne. Okay. I will help as best I can. Together, we will find a way. Surely we have something useful here. Just let me know. Hey, you. Let's check out the cannon first. You think? Well, I suppose we've got to start somewhere. Okay, so it looks like to the cannon as we go. A little wrapped up in my own little headset here. Um, let's go ahead and do the party chat. A boy's dreams, a man's fears. Come. This way, hurry. Wait, I'm coming too. What in the world is going on? You two are as giddy as children in a toy shop. And why wouldn't we be? That's like the world's biggest cannon. Exactly, a huge weapon like that. It's any boy's dream. Any boy. An idea? You betcha, it's a boy's dream that even girls can dream about. I'm not even sure that I can follow, but I'm happy to see you take an interest in our technology. Lotus, do you do all the work maintaining that huge cannon on your own? I most certainly do. It is a difficult job, but a most fulfilling one. Talk about a dream job. What I wouldn't give to be your assistant engineer. Yes, I suppose it is a dream job of any boy with an interest in mechanics and machines. And yet, it is true that even the toughest task do not seem so trying when you have a dream to support you. Be it battling a ball or working thousands of feet in the air, nothing is quite as scary when you do it for your dreams. Thousands of feet up in the air? What's the matter, you? Come on, Mr. Assistant Engineer, I'm gonna leave you behind. Y you go on ahead, I have to go, uh, polish my boots or something. Up to the cannon, ooh! Are we on, are we, we're literally on top of the cannon, that's sick. What if we need to fire it like right now though? They're just gonna be like, sorry kids. We gotta do it now. Papa, tu es revenu. They all speak French. Behaving and doing what your grandfather tells you? Of course, Papa. C'est qui ces gens? Ils ont des habits rigolos. These are our guests, Procyon. Don't be rude. Your son? Yes, my only boy. He's quite a handful. Don't ask me where he gets it from. <laughs> That's good. Means he's healthy. Sure. As long as he doesn't break his neck first. I didn't figure you for the overprotective type. My wife, may she rest in peace, was the Elder's only child. The future of our people depends on him. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to... No, it's fine. Time's healed the wounds. Papa, pourquoi il a une coiffure bizarre, le monsieur? Je t'ai dit de ne pas être si grossier. Ça doit être à la mode chez eux. Oh, ce n'est pas de tout le cas, vous savez. Oh, she speaks our language. I most certainly do, despite my strange looks. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> cute. Now you see why I told you to be polite, huh? It's all right. Even I think my hair looks funny, but I can't get it to do anything else. Tis, you could understand us? Uh, I could kind of guess somehow. <laughs> what a riot you bunch are. I like that little dialogue. So, Mr. Lotus, about this cannon. Yeah, we're just standing on top of. Oh, right. You had your eyes on the SP cannon. A true technological marvel, this. It converts the energy we call SP 
into a burning ray of immense power. Of the many weapons passed down among the Sajita, it is by far the most potent. Uh huh. So that explains the beam and those enormous SP ratings. Still, it's huge. We had nothing of this scale on the moon. Did you build it here? Oh no, it was not us. It has always been here, since the days of legend. Our people have lived in its shadow for centuries. That the day might come when we use it to shoot down the ball. SP cannon, huh? <gasps> I've got it. How's about you shoot us out of this thing over to the Skyhold? You'd be blasted on me, morceau. <laughs> Try to think of something that won't kill you. Oh, really? I thought it was a pretty good idea. While we think it over, come and take a look at this. What's that? That there is our SP storage tank. See those beds down below? We collect SP for storage from the folks who sleep down there. You gather and store SP... Just a moment. What exactly is SP anyway? Good question. The truth is, even we don't entirely understand. But it's said that SP is energy produced by the flow of time. You know how energy can be harnessed from the flow of water or wind, yes? Same with SP. But it's harnessed from the flow of time, as far as we know. It is? Believe it or not, I never knew that. Then perhaps this hourglass operates on the same principle? Hourglass, you say? It can also collect and store SP. In fact, it seems to do it all automatically. Incroyable! Such a small device can store SP? And you don't even need to sleep? Could you let me have a look at it? Be my guest! Oulala! What are all these scratches and dings? It looks like it might fall apart at any moment. I guess we have been a bit rough with it. We, huh? Murgurgur. Hmm. I might be able to fix it up for you. What do you say? Spoken like a true engineer. <laughs> It'll be just a quick welding job. And it would be my pleasure. Voila! Take a gander! Nice, he fixed it for us. Oh, it's gold now! What else did you upgrade? Sorry, all I did was fix up the casing. It may not be exciting, but it's the best I can do with the knowledge we have. It's more than enough. Thank you, Lotus. I've got it! What if it were possible to use SP to fly? Please, Mr. Lotus, we need to know more about how SP works. Do you know where we can find the earliest records of the Sagita? They just might have the answers we seek. Mm, if there's any such thing, it would be in the ruins of old Sagita. It's a bit of a hike, but I can guide you. Let me mark your map. Thank you very much. Procyon, you should come as well. You should get to know our past that you may guide the Sagita wisely into the future. Fair enough. Okay, so if we go up there, that takes us to the cannon. What about in here? Um, not safe to go over there, okay. And what about over here? Where does this take us? Okay, it just takes us to the outside. Um, I think... Like I said, we got we we don't even have money anyway. We we're fully healed up and everything, so we should probably just go ahead and give it a quick save, and we can keep moving here. Save, yup. Bang bang. Okay. And then 
we move. Okay. Ooh, now we're on the other end. Oh, I get it. Okay, okay, okay. So we go through that cave, but go over here. And it looks like we have a side quest. Y'all know we always do side quests first. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the side quest and we'll continue looking at the time. It looks like we'll probably finish most of the side quest today. But we'll probably end up finishing the side quest the beginning of next episode and doing the main quest next episode. Now, where is the side quest? It has to be over here because it's nowhere else. Yes. Okay. What is the side quest here? What is it? Oh, exactly how long do you plan on following us? Huh? Considering how extravagant this city's architecture is, it actually provides quite clear lines of sight. What are you... Making it pretty hard to follow someone undetected. Oh! oh. Rockefeller. <laughs> like Rockefeller. That's hilarious. I I have no idea what you mean, 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 mean. Do you need something, stranger? What do you do want? Do I need something? How about not having you following on our heels all around the city? F -f -f following Perish the thought. I've never seen you before in my la-la-la life. Still playing innocent, huh? No, no, no. F forgive me. You are Idia Lee, yes? Huh? Is this man an acquaintance of yours? No. At least I don't think so. I definitely remember someone this annoying. Oh, I wouldn't expect you to remember me. This is our first me, me, me meeting, after all. I am Rockapeller, fa, 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 famed across the realm as Peller the Third. Oh yeah, Peller. Whoa, whoa, as in the world famous bard, Harkapeller. You know this Peller person, you? He was an incredible musician who spent his whole life traveling the world, leaving pupils behind in every land to carry on his legacy. His life reads more like a legend than anything else. Why, they say he saved nations from fearsome fiends with only his music. That's right. We even sailed around the world to track down his legendary conductor's baton. In music, the most important thing is to have fun. Boy, that takes me back. Yes, that's right. Archipeller was my grand fa fa, fa father which makes me, 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 his grandson. Uh, yeah, that's how it usually works. So what does the grandson of a world-famous bard want from me, of all people? Not anything I'd like my fa fa, -fa fans to overhear. Young though I may be, I'm quite well known. If you're trying to go undercover, you could start by talking like a normal... Ah, oh, never mind. Just lead the way. Do, re, mi, fa, fa, follow me. Okay. Let's see, where do we need to go here? Oh, we're going into Rose's old hideout. Fun. Okay, it looks like we can talk in peace. But why here of all places? Why, this is my new studio! I purchased the property just last year! Is it not up to your status fa 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 faction I wanna hit this it guy. It seems to be soundproof at the very least. Anyway, what do you need me here for? Oh uh, la 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 la, allow me to explain. Yeah, before you do that, can you give the singing a rest? It is a gift inherited from my grandfather. Whenever I open my mouth, me, 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 melody springs forth. Then I suggest nice job, that you turn your little gift off before I turn it off for you. I, I suppose silence is also a virtue. I will do my best. Thanks, bro. Oh, well, there can be no doubt that you're a descendant of the great Archipeller. 
Hmm? What makes you so sure? D why, his voice? Archipelago was the greatest musician of his era. Each song he penned became an instant classic. I'm actually a huge fan of the Bard myself. Why, I have every album he ever released. Well, actually, two copies. One for playing and the other set aside in mint condition. I still don't understand. Why were you following Idia? Yeah, I never did anything to deserve being stalked by some weirdo musician. Not that I can remember, anyway. If I might be so bold, Miss Idia Lee, you are the daughter of the Grand Marshal of Eternia, are you not? Oh, so that's what this is all about. Okay, let's hear it then. Not that I want to. First, you must know that I am terribly busy these days composing new songs for my upcoming tour, due to begin next year. Let me guess. Someone's been interfering with your work? Someone from the Eternian forces? Yes, two someones, in fact. And just when I was about to set out in search of new inspiration. Huh, it always comes back to the duchy, doesn't it? I'm sure they mean no harm, of course. But I fear they both seem to want the same thing of me, and... Let's cut to the chase. Who are they? One would be the famed diva of the battlefield, Miss Praline Alamode. The other is a former captain of the Black Blades, one Hayred and Barbarossa. What? But they're both from the Black Blades, subordinates of my master. The diva of the battlefield? She's not trying to get revenge on us, or is she? I doubt it after two whole years. Leaving Praline aside, what would a pirate like Barbarossa want with a musician like you? It seems to have something to do with a long-lost song of my grandfather's, which was discovered last year. What? A never-before-heard song by the Great Archipelago? Oh, this... this is the news of the century! How did I not hear about this? It was Miss Alamode who first contacted me about the song. I believe she was seeking permission to use my grandfather's last song for something. But I could hardly understand the words that she was using, let alone that eardrum-piercing voice of hers. It was all quite beyond my understanding. She seems to have uh, quite a singular way of expressing herself. Since I couldn't ascertain exactly what she wanted, I've been avoiding giving any sort of response. While I was pondering a course of action, I was accosted by a rather large gentleman, Captain Barbarossa. He tried to tell me something in that rough, ear-shattering voice of his, but his words were as unintelligible to me as Miss Alamode's. The best I could gather was that they each had some designs on my grandfather's last song. But you have no idea what they want to do with it. That's why you were following Idia? Yes, it was by complete coincidence that I came upon you today, but I thought if anyone could help me, it would be you. <sighs> They're my master's subordinates. And my master's problems are my problems. I guess I have no choice. I'll go see what they have to say. Where are they now? Miss Praline should be rehearsing at Florum Square Garden uh, in the upper part of the city. As for Barbarossa... Hmm, you don't know where to find him? As a matter of fact, I'm planning a trip to the Witherwood, north of the city, in search of inspiration for my latest masterpiece. Once you've figured out what those two want, come find me there. All right, we will. But don't get your hopes up. Okay. That is where we go then, I guess. We can go to Praline probably first, and we'll go to Barbarossa second. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's see, where's the blue check marks? Okay. Oh, my bad. Praline is at... I like totally didn't listen to what the guy said. Praline should be up on the stage, right? Probably performing as she usually does, right? Yup. Okay, let's see what Praline is up to. What's this all about? You can't just interrupt a rehearsal like that. We were on fire! Praline a la mode. Diva of the battlefield and holder of the Performer Asterisk. 
This former member of the Black Blades went into early retirement after being booted off stage by Idia and her friends. Now she's making a comeback. And judging by her quick return to the top of the charts, her airhead act may just be for show. By what strange trick of fate do your paths cross anew? Are you sure it's not your pants that are on fire? You sure came running over real quick when you spotted us. Th that's just because I was surprised to see such a nostalgic face from my past. Sure you were. We are here today on behalf of Rock Appeller. You're not doing all this to get back at us for what happened at Eisen Bridge, are you? <gasps> oh, you're here about the grand ship! That must mean that Rockefeller finally agreed to let me use my arrangement! Yay! Braley wins again! Your arrangement? What are you talking about? Boy, Idia, I know it's natural, but can't you do something about that dumb look on your face? Look who's talking! Anyhow, even you must know about the grand ship! The long lost hit by the great Archipeller! It has potential, of course, but it's a bit, how should I say it? Dusty, musty, gasse! So, Praline, the Princess of Pop, took it upon herself to create an arrangement that is simply divine. Wait a second. If I'm understanding you, you want to re-release this a cappella classic as a new Praline a la mode song? Totally! My miraculous arrangement has transformed the lame old number into a dazzling cute masterpiece of modern music! Wow. I guess I can't blame Rocka for being so confused. Well, at least we got the message. We'll pass it along to Peller and see what he has to say. But I can't guarantee that he'll agree. Sounds like an awful lot to ask. No way! I'm only asking for what the whole world wants. Not letting me release my arrangement would be a crime. Just think of the future generations of my fans you'd be depriving! Um, Inya? Do you think that Captain Barbarossa also... I'd bet on it. An old-timey song about a ship sounds like it would be right up his galley. Hey, Praline! What's Barbarossa up to these days? You know, the Black Blades old first mate? What? That You know where he is, don't you? I haven't the foggiest. No, I know nothing about that stupid, noisy sea dog who shows up in the dead of night in some suspicious fog bank in the South Sea. Right. Well, you've been very helpful. Another boat trip, huh? Sorry for interrupting your rehearsal. We'll let you know what Peller says. Okay, to Barbarossa we go. Let us leave and go to Barbarossa. He should be just swimming in the sea somewhere. Shouldn't be too crazy hard to find him. Okay. Oh, we need to go grab the boat. Where did we leave the boat? Oh, I don't think we left the boat anywhere. I think we can just get on the boat, right? Okay. I need to find a seashore. Where is a seashore? I literally have no idea. Please tell me there's a seashore around here. Is there one down here? No. Crap, where's a seashore? We were here last game too, so we know all about this ship. I, a life on the lonely sea, is the only life for me. Yo ho ho, the life for me. Uh, <clears throat> Idiot. 
tell me that this isn't what I think it is? It's a ghost ship, all right. I know how you feel. Oh, watch your feet. The deck's rotting there. Now then, if I remember, the captain's up astern. I th Okay, guys, I think I'm going to end the episode off here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and comment as well as the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and...